Yeah, I saw them. Like I watched them. Good morning, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So we are about to go kayak the Cahaba River. We've already done it one time on the channel. Today we are going to be taking my girlfriend Emma with us and she's gonna be on the Old Town. I'm gonna be on the Bonafide. We're gonna go try to catch some fish. We did this last week. We caught, I had one blow up on the top water and that's kind of all I fished for the day. We stayed out probably five, six hours. Only had one blow up. But today we're gonna be going to a different stretch of the Cahaba trying to do the same thing and trying to find some more big mouth bass. The first day we went out, probably had six or seven blow ups, only caught two fish. The other day when we went out, we had one blow up and we caught zero today we're hoping for a much much better day little update on these kayaks guys so far i love this bona fide i will put it over the old town any day of the week the one thing that the old town does do a lot better than the bona fide is turn alex rudd told me that when i told him i was getting this kayak he told me that the turning on the bona fide native whatever isn't the greatest that isn't that big of a problem for me because most of the time in a creek i'm going in a straight line you're going one direction so this is a creek kayak it doesn't have to turn the greatest like that's not a live or die Thing for me other than that this thing is amazing i took all of the scupper plugs out of it just because it gets water water gets in it it's a kayak water's going to get in it and it's more so when i put it in the nose kind of dips and it fills up with water not a lot of water just a little bit it's manageable we're going to load these things up i need to find a better way to load these into my truck too because it's kind of hard carrying around two 12 foot kayaks i can get them in there but i either need like a utility trailer i need to figure out how to put them on the twin trailer trailer and i don't know what we're going to do how we're going to do it but we need to figure out something else i think it's going to have to be like a trailer solution i don't think just like a bed extender or bed brace for the kayaks is going to work so let's do that let's throw the scupper plugs into the bona fide real quick I love these things because they came with the kayak. They're a lot easier to install too. Like, just move your leaves out of the way. Boom, that one's in, not going anywhere. Boom, that one's in, not going anywhere. You get the drift. All right, we're gonna load these things up and then we're gonna go check on Miss Emma. Let's see how she's feeling. This is the second time she's gone kayaking with me. This is the third time this year we went fishing, so. That's a good sign, that's a good sign. How often do you fish with your significant other? Like, do they go with you? Do they offer to go with you? I don't know, I don't know. All right, we're gonna load these. All right, so we got it strapped in. Uh, see, they they fit perfect, but I think there might be like a better way to do it. Um, I'd feel a lot safer if we had a trailer, but we don't have a utility trailer right now, so it's gonna be, it's all good. It's all good. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's kick it. Are you gonna catch some fish? Or are you just kind of coming to hang out? Um, I don't know. Might do both. All right, biggest fish. Um, wins hundred dollars. Hundred dollar bet for biggest fish. Yes. Yeah. It's like taking candy from a woman. We made it. Made it. New stretch. Haven't fished. <laughs> Welcome to my life. That's why I've gotten so skinny in the past couple of weeks because she's <laughs> ate all of my food. Three months ago, I weighed 228. Right now, I weigh 203. Really? Yeah. CrossFit and Emma eating all of my food is the reason for that. But new stretch. This looks like 100% better than what we fished last time. And there's probably a fish right here. Super excited for this. Um, I really, like if we start catching them really good, I really want to try to get Emma to catch one. Hopefully we can just tie her on a chopo so that's pretty self-explanatory and she'll be able to see a fish come up and eat. But there's a lot of pools, there's a lot of eddies, there's a lot of current over here. So that's going to be good for spotted bass, large mouth, small mouth potentially. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any in this stretch, but I know probably within a five mile stretch of us, there's probably one small mouth bass in here. So then also, I'm not sure about shoal bass. I'm not sure if they're going to be in this stretch of the Cahaba, but I think we might have shoal bass somewhere close to. Let's go catch some big mouth bass and sun, sun some rays. 
<laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be surviving on this creek bank right here for 24 hours. We have no food, no water, no shelter. We have to find all of that ourselves. We're going to be foraging for wild berries. Tell me this isn't beautiful guys. This is just the most relaxing style of fishing. Like the no, no. I did say this is really beautiful though. All right, not seeing too many fish, too much activity. So we're gonna just keep trekking. Also, I bend these hooks out on this chopper quite frequently because I get it hung up on so many rocks. And the second you pull a hook on a somewhat strong rock, it's probably not gonna work out the best. So let me just straighten this hook out with those pliers and keep pushing keep tracking you can just throw it like okay so this one's like stuck together so we might just kind of snap it it did break but i think it'll stay together you want the long side or the shirt side i don't know like you're good i don't know how we're gonna do this at all because it's shallow this whole way. So it might be kind of like walking, leave the kayak, walk, leave the kayak, walk. I'm sure we're probably about 10 minutes into the video right now. Nice. That's your drift, drift queen. <laughs> all right so we've made it past all the rocks all the craziness and confusion we made it through and the second we make it through i see a bass chasing some little bait fish i'm not sure what they are or what they were but we saw that so that gave us a lot of hope we did see one fish it was super small but it was chasing and trying to eat and it was chasing at the top of the water so thing about these creeks there's just so many cracks and crevices in these rocks and so many trees and branches you got to think like the bottom composition of this place probably changes once a year there's a lot of opportunity to catch fish in new places after a rain out here Hey, I think that was a big one. Can you call it back up? Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Did it have a stripe down it? Like, yeah, like, like a bass? Well, I believe you. I know you know your fish species. I think a Cahaba bar somewhere down here would be a really good idea. And also, I think this right here is the end where that dead tree is. Bumper kayak! All right, don't get too crazy. If you go in, I may or may not help. No, I'd help. Then you have to ride on my kayak. Like there's definitely crappie on this tree, no doubt. Cause there's about a hundred shad right here. It's just how deep is it? And will they eat this <laughs> crawl? Which I seriously doubt, but I mean, there's definitely a bass down there. Cause like there's too many shad right here for there not to be one. Oh, that was a little hit we got right there. 
Need a Ned rig, but I didn't bring the spinning rod. I figured we probably wouldn't use it too much. Why didn't I bring the Ned rig? I need a BFS reel. I don't really like spinning reels for whatever reason. I just never, me and spinning reels have never got along for some reason. Like I can use them, but I'd much rather use a bait caster. I need a, I need a Z9 is what I need. <laughs> Good Oh, I got one. Oh, he came off. No, he didn't. Oh, he came off. Dang. Weeds in the water. All right, we'll get it. Well, guys, that was the second fish of the day. Came off. Missed. There's another one right there. Ooh, we followed that pretty good. All right, now we are officially 0 for 3. Check our hooks. Shouldn't be. No, that none of them are bent out. Just on the short strikes. That first one we hooked was good, or the one that just ate it. Not this one right here, but the one before that was a. I think it was a good one. Oh, whoa! I saw that. That's a big fish right there. Yeah, I saw him. Like I watched him swim by. And he's like right here under this rock. Oh my goodness, that's too big one. You see him? Babe, look. You see him? Right there in front of you, right the other way. Those almost look like smallmouth. Okay, see, this is what I was talking about right here. I think we might just take this one off because we've had five bites on it so far with no fish, so. Oh, there's another one right there. I can't see what it is, but I'm pretty sure that's a bass too.
there's a little road that follows the creek and it ends right there. So that makes a lot of sense. People probably stop right there. So all the fish are going to be right here. And however far you want to go down, it probably gets a lot better. So we'll know that for next time. It might be worth just coming down to right here, putting it right here and just going that way. Yeah. Because right there in that corner, I had three blow ups. Then right in here, I've had two. And then I've seen three, four, five fish right here. So. But we're going to catch one. Because they've all been big right through here, too. I think this is the type of rock that, or this is kind of what I was looking for, too. Just rock and a little bit of deeper water. And it makes sense that there's fish right here because the deeper water gives you a little bit more shade and cover than what we went over when we first got out here. Ten seconds later. There we go. Don't come off. Don't come off, please. Small. We're not going to fight them hard. We're actually going to like loosen our drag a lot. Yeah, first one. It's a bass. Let's go. Let's go. He's trying to take off. Let's go. First one. Oh, he came off. Oh, well. I think their mouths are so thin in here, too. I think that probably has a lot to do with how thin they're. It's almost like fishing for crappie. And there's definitely going to be a little bit of learning curve because I'm sure some of these fish have never even seen a chopo before, never even been hooked before. I think there's probably enough fish right here in this little pool we're in to stay here all day and switch it up. Might even throw that Texas rig out there. Look, I'm just watching these fish like there's, a, there's something right, literally right there. I don't think that was a bass. It just swam off. But there's so many fish out here that it's like every cast you feel like you're going to catch one. Bag, I'm racing the clock, looking at them flock, watching them flock Used to see this on my sleep, when I ain't had shit but my thoughts in the car I really was lost, now I'm public with the soundscapes